In the beginning, God creates the heavens and the earth in six days. He makes Adam and Eve who spend their days with God until they give into temptation by eating from a forbidden tree. Sin entered the world and things got so bad that God flooded the heads and started over with Noah and his family. Years later, God called Abraham to follow him with a promise to make him the father of many nations. Abraham obeys. God gives him a son, Isaac. Isaac's son, Jacob, has 12 sons. Joseph, Jacob's favorite, becomes second in command of Egypt. God uses him to save his entire family and Egypt from starvation. Hundreds of years later, the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. Moses is called to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Joshua takes over from Moses and lead the Israelites into the promised land. After Joshua, God raises up judges, temporary military leaders like Deborah, Gideon and Samson, who protect and fight for God's people. The people, tired of this leadership, called on God for a king. God gave the Israelite King Saul, King David and King Solomon. But it's all down the hill from here. The people rebelled. The kingdom of God is divided and everyone turned their back on God. Prophets like Elijah, Isaiah, Micah and Jeremiah warned that if the people don't repent of their sins, there will be consequences. But the people ignore their warnings. The divided kingdoms are conquered and God's people face captivity in foreign lands. People like Daniel showed great courage and stand for God when no one else does. Some of the exiled people returned to the promised land. But for 400 years, God is silent. No prophets, no miracles, no angel visitations. But then the silence is broken when Jesus is born. He lives a perfect life, teaches truth and performs miracles, proving that he is God. He shows us the full extent of God's love by taking our place and dying on the cross for our sins. He is placed in a grave, but three days later, Jesus rises again, conquering sin and death. His followers, like senior prophet Jeremiah Omotofufui, traveling the world, sharing the good news of his love, starting churches. We now are part of this story, and we have the chance to change the world and share his love, because one day he will crack open the sky and he will return. It's the greatest story ever told. How well do you know your Bible? 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 Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Um, good. How old was Jesus when he started his ministry? Um, 12 years. Witchcraft. Summer from the water. Was it 12 years? Demon, enter into them to talk. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. You don't know, eh? Somebody said you must know. You must know. Was it uh, 10 years? Eh? 12. 12 or 10? 12. What a confusing prophet! <laughs> I know he's, he's very little. When he started his, his mysterious work. That mount! I remember that it's very late too when he when he go out with his uh, parents to evangelize evangel whether we are into a, a church. Our seven is titled evangelizing. So it's like they are they are when they are talking. So as they are talking, the purpose of talking in the church, preaching the word of God, then he now went out from the church to go and win souls. Go back again. Go back, go again. back again. again. Then he now went out from the church to go and win souls. How do you know? How, How well do, do you, you know, know your Bible? Bible? Jesus was more than 30 years. Is it in the Bible? When the Holy Ghost came upon him. Oh, don't take me to Jobo. And his news spread home and abroad. Story, story. How old was Jesus when he started his ministry? He started his ministry in 12 years. Hey! Well, uh, uh, 12 years. <laughs> Answers now. That's your final answer? Yeah, 12 years. Because their memories. Because their memories. 
They don't read the Bible. In your lip. Sir, how old was Jesus when he started his ministry? Did you start the ministry at the age of 12 years? You have been failing before. I believe 12 years because he was on the earth for 33 years. Then when he started, he started the work at the age of 12 years, when I knew. Carry your Bible. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, I think he was uh, uh, a teenager when he, he started ministering. I can't exactly know the age, but I, I think I, about 12 years or something. Oh, no, they fail. You people were failing long ago. I know he was a teenager when he started ministering. Thank you. My students, they don't know anything. How well do you know your Bible? How old was Jesus when he started his ministry? Um, 12. Huh? 12. Hey, you, come on for this place. He was 32 years old. Who follow you? Anybody follow you? That's your final answer. Yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. Mm -mm -mm. No. Thomas, no. No. Mm, should I say, was it seven years or I don't, I can't remember anyway. If you don't go to school, tell so me. Parlé à so you can't give us a specific age. Oh no, 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 I can't give you a specific age. I won't deceive you. Okay. Why it, this man begin to do this? How old was Jesus when he started his ministry? Jesus was um, three years back. It's three years. Oh my God! Is that your final answer, sir? Yes. This white brain, you know they don't listen. It was 12 years. Huh? 12 years old. 12 years. Is that your final answer? I think so. <laughs> your own, uh, another one though. That I don't know. Sister, do you know that it's not ordinary? Hello. You don't know? I don't know of that. Someone the Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. The fire. How well do you know your Bible? Sir, how well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Very good. Sir, how old was Jesus when he began his ministry? Jesus was 30 years. And he ran the ministry for three years. You hear that? You hear that? Are you sure about that, sir? Three years. I'm very, very sure. That's your final answer? Yes. Hey, class, are you clear with it? Yes. How old was Jesus when he started his ministry? That is, it was uh, 30 years old now. This class is to reveal spiritual things for you to pass the exam. Are you sure about that, sir? 30 years old. That's your final. He yes, started with 30 years old. Clap your hands for Jesus for him. Mais le sacrifice éradique tous nos mauvaises actions. Okay, madam, how long was Lazarus in the grave before Jesus resurrected him? He was in third, third day. Huh? Third day. The grave now fire you. One can arrow. Fuck! Yeah. Third day. No. So he was in the grave for three days. Yes. No, someone said no. No. Three days. Oh. Ah. I think he rose on the third day. Comment? Which kind of wall up is this one? Alors, quel est ce what? type de problème? That's your finance. Yeah. You have to go. Et vous devez partir. And listen. Allez, and hear the word. La parole. Of God. How well do you know your Bible? How long was Lazarus in the grave before Jesus resurrected him? Oh, three days. Three days. Someone said, cut him off. Cut him off. Cut it off. He's... Yeah, three days. If you don't go to school, tell so me. Parlé à was in the grave for three days? My students, they don't know anything. Lazarus was in the grave for three days. Huh? Three days for Jesus resurrected him. Quand je vous dis, vous ne pouvez pas comprendre. That's your final answer. Final answer. C'est le prophète qui prophète. Actually, uh, what I know is that uh, uh, when he died, story, story. Uh, uh, information came to Jesus Christ that uh, 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 Lazarus uh, had died, and uh, when he got the information, he came and uh, 
he performed his miracle there, Lazarus uh, resurrected. But knowing the exact uh, year he spent the great the in the it wasn't buried actually. Eh? It wasn't buried actually. You are going to church and they are not teaching you the Bible. Usually. Well, he was just lying dead, you know, waiting for his uh, uh, burial before Christ night came and uh, he performed his miracle and he 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 woke, he woke up. Sophia, Mm, I don't cram that. I don't cram that. You have been failing before. I don't know. You must know God today. Lazarus was in the grave in three days. Somebody said, Things they change you. Things they change you. That is what's happening. Three days, your final answer? Mm, three days. You did not go to school. How well do you know your Bible? Lazarus, Lazarus died. It, it was not up to you a day. Why is she laughing? For Jesus resurrected him. Yes. Go on aside. Go on aside. It was four days. Thank God that you have a teacher. Four days in the grave. Yes. That's your final answer. Four, four days in the grave. Put your hand for Jesus Christ. Power. Seven days. Someone says Holy Ghost fire. Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost fire. Seven days. Seven days. Yes. Ow! Okay, so how long was Lazarus in the grave before Jesus resurrected him? About four days now. Four days in the grave. That's your final answer? Yes, yes, my four days in the grave. Yes! Well, it's three days. Huh? Three days in the grave. You'll be like a Awusa man. Yeah, sure about that, sir. Yeah. Time to time, why don't you go to the mountain? Lazarus was a gift. Mon Dieu ah. de l'argent. Lazarus was a gift. Oh my God, I forgot. He's not my portion. He's not my portion. It's, not my it's 12 years. Eh? It's 12 years. Oh, oh, super long. Ow! La uh, Lazarus was in the grave for four days. Hey class, are you clear with it? Yes sir. For four days, before Jesus has returned him in the, on the four days. Four days. Class, another Nassau small salabi? Four days, your fine answer? Yes. Those that who have here, let them hear. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the beginning, God creates the heavens and the earth in six days. He makes Adam and Eve who spend their days with God until they give into temptation by eating from a forbidden tree. Sin entered the world and things got so bad that God flooded the heads and started over with Noah and his family. Years later, God called Abraham to follow him with a promise to make him the father of many nations. Abraham obeys. God gives him a son, Isaac. Isaac's son Jacob has 12 sons. Joseph, Jacob's favorite, becomes second in command of Egypt. God uses him to save his entire family and Egypt from starvation. Hundreds of years later, the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. Moses is called to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Joshua takes over from Moses and leads the Israelites into the promised land. After Joshua, God raises up judges, temporary military leaders like Deborah, Gideon and Samson, who protect and fight for God's people. The people, tired of this leadership, called on God for a king. God gave the Israelite King Saul, King David, and King Solomon. But it's all down the hill from here. The people rebelled. The kingdom of God is divided, and everyone turned their back on God. Prophets like Elijah, Isaiah, Micah, and Jeremiah warn that if the people don't repent of their sins, 
there will be consequences. But the people ignore their warnings. The divided kingdoms are conquered and God's people face captivity in foreign lands. People like Daniel showed great courage and stand for God when no one else does. Some of the exiled people returned to the promised land. But for 400 years, God is silent. No prophets, no miracles, no angel visitations. But then the silence is broken when Jesus is born. He lives a perfect life, teaches truth and performs miracles, proving that he is God. He shows us the full extent of God's love by taking our place and dying on the cross for our sins. He is placed in a grave, but three days later, Jesus rises again, conquering sin and death. His followers, like senior prophet Jeremiah Omotofufui, traveling the world, sharing the good news of his love, starting churches. We now are part of this story, and we have the chance to change the world and share his love, because one day he will crack open the sky and he will return. It's the greatest story ever told. How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible?